our species commonly known as best beetles or horned tasselless beetles. They are widespread throughout the east and go as far north as Canada. Their optimal living conditions are dark, arid with high moisture levels. Their color is black and they have three segmented bodies, a grooved elytra and a small curved horn between their eyes. They live under a burrow inside decaying logs. They tunnel through these logs, creating galleries as they go. They eat the wood, or they mate inside the galleries. Best beetles feed on decaying or already dead hardwood from deciduous trees, like oak or elm. When they live in a log, they help the log decompose by chewing up the wood. Our experimental purpose was to determine whether the species prefers eating multiple small pieces of rotten wood chips as opposed to a rotten log. We were trying to find out if the average percent loss would be greater for the rotten wood chips or rotten log. We wanted to know what would happen if they were given a controlled amount of food, the wood chips, as opposed to a rotten log. We hypothesized that the average percent loss for the rotten log would be greater than the average percent loss for the wood chips. We tested six beetles in each trial. There were two parts of the experiment. The first part, we used one portion of wood chips, and it was sprayed with water, weighed, and fed to the beetles. A second portion matching the first portion was sprayed with water and set aside in a plastic container to use as a control. After 24 hours, both portions were sprayed with water, weighed, and then a new amount was selected and placed into the cage. This was repeated for three more trials. The second part of the experiment used two cages of six beetles. A rotting log was sprayed with water, weighed, and put in each cage. A third log was sprayed with water, weighed, and set aside in a plastic container to use as the control. After 24 hours, the logs were removed, sprayed with water, weighed, and then put back into the cage for another trial. The external log was sprayed with water and weighed also. Each log had two trials. After both parts of the experiment were completed, the masses were compared and the percent changes were calculated. Data for the original and final masses of the internal wood pieces. There was an increase in mass in trial 1 due to an error. Trial 2, trial 3, trial 4, there was a decrease in mass. Data for the original and final masses of the external wood pieces. There was a large decrease in mass in trial 1 due to an error. There was an error in trial 2, trial 3, and trial 4. There were no errors. Data for the original and final masses of the internal logs. The final mass for trial 1 is the starting mass of trial 2, and there was a decrease in mass for both the logs. Data for the original and final mass of the external log. In the external log, there was less of a decrease than the internal logs. Data for the percent changes in the wood pieces. In trial 1, there was a percent gain due to an error. Trial 2, trial 3, and trial 4, there was a percent loss. Data for the percent changes in the logs. There was a percent loss in both the logs and there was a percent loss for the external log, however, it was less than the internal logs. Masses of the wood pieces. 
This chart corresponds to the data tables, and the internal original is the same as the external original. Masses of the logs. This chart corresponds to our data tables, and for each log, the final mass in trial 1 is the starting mass in trial 2. Percent changes in wood pieces. This chart corresponds with the data tables. There is a percent gain in trial 1 due to the error. Trial 2, trial 3, and trial 4 had percent losses. Percent changes in logs. This chart corresponds with the data tables. The internal logs had a larger percent decrease than the internal logs in both trials. Our hypothesis was not supported since the wood chips had a higher percent loss than the logs did. We calculated the loss or gain in mass for each trial and got the sum of those numbers. We found that more of the log was eaten. The internal wood chips lost 13.8 grams. However, the internal logs lost 133.2 grams. There was more of a percent decrease in the internal wood chips because the starting mass in each trial was substantially less than the logs. They ate more of the logs because they could burrow into them and live there. The logs contained more moisture and were dark inside, so they provided ideal living conditions. Besides being food, the wood pieces did not provide them with any additional benefits. This shows that the beetles based their food preference on what they could gain from it. They would rather do more work to burrow inside a log than simply eat what they are given in a controlled environment.